So as you can see, I have uh, the um, extension cables, which uh, I already unplugged with uh, with the trick of using uh, two uh, staples and then pushing the pins out. And um, now I'm gonna line them up in the connector that I have uh, from the super micro board itself. Step one has been completed. I uh, put the connectors of a, a CPU a power supply cable into the, the according connectors. And now uh, I still have to fill in uh, the others. And the final result. So now everything is connected properly. Uh, power on, um, 5 volt standby cable, um, I believe 8 times ground and 8 times 12 volt. And this is divided for uh, 4 times uh, to the CPU connector and uh, 2 times 2 for both uh, 6 pin uh, GPU uh, connectors. So, um, let's see if it powers up. Okay, so here we are again. Um, I got uh, some lengthening cables for the power supply. Unit. And uh, this way I could, uh, I could use this connector um, that came uh, with the motherboard uh, to, uh, to connect these uh, extension cables. And uh, well, uh, now is the moment that I can connect it and uh, check if uh, the motherboard uh, actually boots. So let's, uh, let's connect it. This one on. Okay, um, well, I expect uh, one of two things now. Either uh, the system boots and we will get a, a visual on the screen, or uh, we will see uh, some smoke coming out of uh, any of the components, but uh, I rather hope not, of course. Okay. This way works. Okay. The power supply is actually running. It's not something that you can see. Nothing, but I do see a light here, so that's a good thing, I guess. Okay, this takes more time than I'm uh, comfortable with, so let's try a CMOS reset. The power supply unit spins on immediately. Now this light is burning here. And I don't know if you can see that. But it's a green light uh, near the VGA uh, connection.
Okay, well, at least uh, no smoke yet, so that's a good thing, I guess. Um, I'm gonna look up uh, uh, the manual of the motherboard and see if there are any jumpers that I uh, should uh, place differently. Okay, attempt two at uh, getting this uh, motherboard booting. Um, I found a jumper uh, that is responsible for um, uh, making this motherboard hot swappable. Uh, apparently, uh, when the jumper is not enabled, then uh, it is possible to uh, have this motherboard hot swap. Um, but yeah, that's not the case. Uh, it has a regular uh, power supply unit to it, so it's not hot swap. And uh, it should behave. Uh, uh, normally, so um, I set the jumper to uh, using a, a regular power supply unit, and um, yeah, let's hope that uh, this jumper uh, makes a difference. Power is on. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's some fancy blue LEDs. We we'll have to find a way to get those out. But at least uh, it does more now, so that's a good sign. Um, I am waiting for, uh, for visuals that would uh, confirm a bit more that it uh, actually is working, of course. Thank you for watching.